Dear Librans, how are you? Hope you all are doing fantastic. So this particular reading is uh, for the remaining days of September. What is it that is going on or what is it that uh, that will happen the remaining days of September in your life? Um, in general, in love and otherwise as well. Let's see how the cards, uh, you know, what the cards will reveal. So let's see what is going to happen in the life of my dear uh, Librans. Uh, sorry if I said Gemini, it is supposed to be a Libran, uh, it is supposed to be a reading for Librans here, okay, this one is for Libran. What, uh, what is it that my Librans needs to know for the remaining days of September? What is it that my Librans needs to know for the remaining days of September, please? What is it that my Librans needs to know for the remaining days of September? This is for my dear Librans, a collective spread for all. Remember, take how it may resonate. Uh, it may, may not resonate with each and every one of you. Do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well for daily energy updates. You can subscribe to my channel and also you can follow me on Instagram for daily updates over there as well. Let's see what is going to happen in the remaining days of September. Okay, we have a card here. Okay. So, soulmate, wow, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. For any of you who is watching this particular video, I feel that either you are surround, uh, either you are already in touch with your soulmate or I feel that you are going to meet your soulmate pretty, pretty soon. Just believe this and manifest this physically, okay? Uh, so, in case if you are single looking for one, again, manifestation is a technique a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light okay so i feel that you're already uh you have already met your soulmate it's just that that you know you haven't been able to recognize them or something but i feel that you are already in touch with them or in your surrounding you may be friends with them or probably even that you know uh you haven't been uh in touch quite often but then there is somebody in your surrounding i feel okay now let's see what are the what is it that my librans needs to know for the remaining days of september what is it that my librans needs to know for the remaining days of september please what is it that my librans needs to know for the remaining days of september let's see what is it that my Librans needs to know? Eight of Wands, travel. Are you going to travel soon? In case not, as if now you have no plans, that let me tell you this thing that you are soon going to travel. But there's also an indecisive energy around you. Let's shuffle more, take a few more cards, lay out the spread and then I'm going to read it out to you. Okay, we have Eight of Wands, we have Two of Swords. Um... okay let's see what else do we have Librans remaining days of september please what is going to happen in the life of my dear Librans in the remaining days of september six of cup five of swans okay so actually this is the past present future challenge okay and the outcome is the last card wow okay bottom of the deck we have uh, knife of cups which is page of cups here i feel that uh there is an apology or probably you are, are feeling apologetic towards some kind of behavior, something that has happened quite recently in your life. Okay, some sort of apology uh, I see on the cards here for you. I also feel that uh, with Eight of Coins, I also feel that uh, you're, you're working really, really hard towards uh, a certain connection or probably towards your work this can be your job as well and you're working really really hard you're laser focused you're uh, very 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 focused in your work as in 
you know you're trying to earn money balance your finances as well and you very patiently you're dedicating all your time because eight of coins is coming from seven of coins seven of coins is basically patience and then eight of coins is hard work okay towards the nine of coins is the satisfaction okay is the uh, wish fulfillment is the stability okay so i feel that uh, if it is about work you're laser focused on your work otherwise as well on, on your relationship you are laser focused to make this relationship work because there in there has been something in the past that did not go down well because of we, which you feel really apologetic bad and sad about it and you know that things did not go well and you uh and you feel sorry about those things okay with queen of coins i feel again uh, you are moving towards a higher level of uh, commitment okay uh, i feel that uh, there is something or somebody in your life you want to commit to you see that person in a very high light in a very uh bright light wherein you know that this person is worth giving a commitment and this person will not settle down on anything less than a commitment and this person is definitely very stable financially quite abundant independent and quite stable and quite confident in their own skin okay so there is definitely something related to commitment which is going to come and you will start thinking about it all right so with the eight of wands i feel that uh you know you are going to uh because i have seven of wands right here i feel that there has been some kind of conflicting energies you refused to move out of your comfort zone in the past and uh, there were some uh you know some conflicts or there there has been some kind of challenges that you have faced and you refused to move out of your comfort zone because eight of wands is coming from seven of wands right and then going to nine of wands which means that in the past you have been quite uh uh someone who refused to go out of uh, refused to come out of the comfort zone and you wanted things as per your own convenience and things did not go down well that is where that is why we have page of cups here as well but right now i feel there's a lot of uh, either you are in a long distance relationship or you are traveling towards them or they are traveling towards you it can also be a possibility that the challenges that you're facing right now in the past that you were facing because of your own comfort zone that you wanted to be in and you denied coming out of it right now i feel there's a lot of communication back and forth communication that is going on and that or that has gone in the recent past because of which you may have gotten into some kind of fight because right now with two of swords uh energy i feel there has been some kind of communication followed by ace of swords communication has happened quite a rational and uh, quite a rational communication uh which has actually uh you know uh made you uh think and made you confused along with your person i feel i somewhere down the line i feel that right now there's a there's a very stagnant energy in your life wherein you're just not able to decide what exactly that you really want out of this person or the situation that you're dealing with okay there is a lot of confusion there is no forward movement you're just thinking and uh, uh trying to decide what is it that you really want out of this particular situation with two of swords energy i also feel it is going moving towards three of swords so you don't want to you don't want a heartbreak in your life you don't want to suffer in your life but at the same point of time you're trying to avoid it you don't want uh, to hurt anybody you don't want to even hurt yourself but yet again two of swords you're deciding you're thinking you're not moving forward you're not taking any decision right now you are uh, you are in a limbo you are stuck in a limbo between making a choice or a decision in your love life or uh, that can be in your career as well take how it may resonate with six of four uh, uh cups that uh that's something that i see in the future again confusion so uh with six of cups i feel that you are still continuing with your confusion uh, with choices that you are unable to decide right and i also feel with five of cups you know six of cup cups is coming from five of cups and going to seven of cups right so five of cups again is sadness you coming up you know in the future as well you're you're sad okay uh, you're sad because uh you know you are unable to make a choice 
so you are unable to make a choice that is the reason that you know things are not going pretty well in the coming near future within this month as well you are in a state of limbo again you are unable to make a choice you are unable to make a decision again the confusion because somewhere down the line i feel that you want to be cautious because you don't want to put your heart on stake or your love on stake or your emotions on stake and whatever decision that you want to make you want to make a wise decision so that nobody gets hurt here so that is the reason that you are feeling very 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 stuck in all your uh, in your mind uh, liprins okay hmm uh your challenge is five of wands again uh, you guys have fought there has been some kind of uh, argument in the past conflicts uh, uh you know uh, and that is somewhere related to a commitment or marriage rather than moving on to marriage or commitment i see that you guys have fought and uh, there has there can be a possibility that you may be in a no contact situation as well because i see stagnancy and i also see conflicts okay so uh, your challenge is how to get over with the fight uh that you got into with your person how to get over and move past this particular situation that has been created between you both and how to get the uh, ball rolling okay um and yeah six of cups is uh, also like you know you are indecisive you are still dwelling in the memories here okay in the in the past, in, in the future one more thing that i would like to add that you're still dwelling in the memories you are confused because it is going to the seven of cups you are confused uh, what decision that you have to make because you are unable to move on you want to resolve the challenges you want to resolve the fights but you know at the same point of time you know that you are confused you are unable to make a choice you are unable to move on from the past memories of this person with six of cups you are unable to resolve the conflict and that is something that you are trying to do uh you know that is coming out in your challenge the outcome is four of cups which means that you are still not in a decisive state in the month of september whatever things are uh, shaping up it is leaving you very demotivated and discontent and uh, you know you kind of uh, you are kind of losing hope in terms of uh, not in only in this situation but otherwise as well i feel okay why is four of cups here let's clarify this why is four of cups here in my librarian's reading as outcome why four of cups is here I know there are conflicts. I know that this my librarians are unable to move on. I know that they are unable to, uh, you know, even make a choice. So, as outcome, four of cups sh is showing me that you will be very discontent and demotivated. Knight of Swords and Six of Wands. So you want success, okay? You want success in this particular situation, but then it is not going to happen because your person is actually giving you a cold shoulder. So because they are giving you a cold shoulder, they are acting up with you. I feel that you are feeling very discontent in this particular situation for the remaining days of September, okay? So that's about it, guys. Uh, this is a short reading for my dear Librans here, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel, guys. Do let me know if this reading did resonated with you or not. Thank you.